Growing up in New York City, I've ridden the subway my whole life. I can balance through shifty tunnels and know the appropriate response to the eccentric behavior around me. Despite its unpredictability, I'm at ease when I ride the subway. Being so familiar with city culture and public transportation, I assumed there would be no surprises on the underground in London. I did not find out how wrong I was until I rode the tube in full costume to the IFSA Butler Halloween party. The IFSA London staff encouraged everyone to attend. There would be pumpkin carving, candy, warm company, and a costume contest. IFSA parties were always tons of fun and made me feel at home, so I was definitely going. I just needed a quick, simple, and cheap costume. A week before the event, a friend came to me with an incredibly creative, uniquely British concept, zebra crossing poles. We would dress as the striped posts that line every crosswalk in London. It was brilliant. I could not wait to show up to the party in such a regionally relevant and culturally specific costume. On the night of the party, we suited up in all black clothing, wrapped white stripes of duct tape around our legs, painted our faces yellow, and clipped flashing bike lights to our heads. We walked in full costume to the closest tube stop at Chancery Lane and piled onto a crowded tube heading towards Notting Hill Gate. It was a 14 minute ride in which not a single passenger looked up at us. Everyone's eyes were averted, focused on their newspapers, phones, their own hands and shoes. Anything but our bright yellow faces. I found it bizarre. I couldn't tell if they were ignoring us out of oblivion, disinterest, or disgust. How could they be so unresponsive to such an absurd display? I thought about how in New York, the entire subway car would have laughed, pointed, and inquired about our appearance. I'd been prepared for those reactions, but none surfaced. I was suddenly completely aware of how vastly different the London Underground was from the New York City subway. It became clear to me that the distinction in their underground etiquette was rooted in the unique culture of each city and its people. New Yorkers are expressive, talkative, and unapologetic. They wouldn't be afraid to criticize, converse, or crack a joke with two strangers dressed as zebra crossing poles. They would respond to us because that's New York City culture. But Londoners are reserved, polite, and proper. They are consistently courteous in their interactions because they respect the privacy and civility of others. So the unflinching passengers weren't ignoring us. They were abiding by British culture, politely and respectfully allowing us to ride the tube unbothered and in peace, no matter how ridiculous we looked. Identifying these cultural distinctions made the remainder of that ride and every other journey I took on the underground less confusing and more comfortable. And those feelings extended to other settings too, in my classes and walking on the street, in restaurants and grocery stores. The more time I spent immersed in the city and absorbing its culture, the more familiar it all became. I started to feel like I knew London, like the culture shock had turned to comfort and I finally belonged. <laughs>